Hi, my name is Dan Russell, and I'm a research scientist for Google. One of the things I do is I help people learn how to become better searchers. My research shows me that while Google is really easy to use, one of the things we don't do is use it to its full advantage. That's what the point of this course is really all about, how to make you become a better searcher. So in this course, what we'll do is actually try to get across the big idea of Google, how Google works, the idea of search, and I want to teach you three key ideas in this particular class that you can use to become a much better searcher. The way this class works is we broke it up into a set of classes. So there's a first class we're doing right now on how Google works. Then the next class will be about extending what you know. We'll continue on through th six different classes all the way to the end where we put all the ideas about how to do Google search together. Now each class actually has a set of lessons. The first lesson will be just a short video like this one. Later, after you complete this one, you can go on to the next lesson, which will be another short video. These videos will be between three, five, maybe 10 minutes long. They'll be quite short. And after each video, we'll have an activity. The activities are intended to allow you to exercise or to practice what we've just been talking about in each of those lessons. The point is that with the activity, you can see what we've just been doing and actually work on it on your own answer a couple questions to test your understanding. You don't need to do these, or you could completely skip them, but I recommend you do them. It allows you to cement the knowledge that you've been picking up in each of the lessons. In each class, we'll be learning a set of ideas. During the course of this course, we'll be having two tests. There'll be a midterm test after class three, which will test what you've learned in the first three classes. This will be graded and will be added to the test you score you get on the last test, the end of class test, after class six. What counts in this class? Well, what really counts is that you learn the material, but for the purposes of getting to the certificate, there's only two tests that really count. There's the mid-class and the post-class assessments. We have a lot of activities in between each of the lessons, but that's really intended to reinforce what you've been learning and to give you the chance to practice a little bit. So we highly encourage that you take the time to do it because you'll be a, actually a much better learner as a consequence of that. But for the certificate purposes, doing the midterm and the post-class assessments are really all you need. Notice that the assessments have to be done by the dates listed in the welcoming email that you've got. We'll remind you of this throughout the course of this lecture series, but I want you to take note. They have to be done by the deadline. Note that we also have a set of forums that help answer questions about what you're learning and allows you the chance to talk with other students, talk about what you're learning, difficult issues that you might have, misunderstandings that arise, and so on. It's a really great mechanism to use, and I highly encourage you to use that. We also have text versions of all of the transcriptions of all of the lessons available for you. You can either read through them at your leisure or take a chance and kind of go over them at some other time. But they're there for you to skim or review. Notice that all the search features we're showing you here will always be available to you. And if you can't get them on your local country version of Google, you can always go to google.com. We have a bonus video that we'll be showing you that you can get access to that will tell you in detail how to get to this. But take note of that. It's a really great way to see all the features of everything we're showing you in this class. Now, the point of all this is the reason we do this kind of work is to be better at searching. Google has a lot of products. Some of these products have searched deeply embedded in them. The techniques and ideas you learn here, you'll be able to transmit to all these other products, and you'll be a better searcher. You'll be able to find knowledge much more quickly, much more efficiently, much more accurately. And that's, after all, what we're trying to do with this class.